the forsaken woods, a fallen knight awakens, abandoned by the very kingdom he once fought for. Anger motivates him as his hands scrape relentlessly up and down the rough bark of the tree, fueled by an unyielding determination to rupture his captivity. In the midst of his battle with the ropes, haunting flashbacks of a prior skirmish flood his mind, intensifying his resolve. He seethes with indignation at the audacity of leaving him defenseless in these treacherous woods, where any nefarious character could stumble upon him. His mind races, consumed by two pressing questions. Where had his weapon vanished to, and what had become of his loyal steed? He contemplates whether his ideas had truly been so radical that they warranted the severe punishment of banishment. He reflects on the changing tides of time and the urgent need for his king to adapt to these shifting circumstances, lest he be forsaken by the very era he ruled over. His heart swells with relief at the sight of his beloved sword, a symbol of his determination and resolve. With this weapon firmly in hand, he vows to return and exact retribution upon those who had wronged him. He acknowledges that before he can confront his enemies, he must seek out like-minded souls who share his cause and can stand by his side as loyal allies. A flicker of hope kindles within him as he thinks, the faints must surely be on my side. Recognizing this as his opportunity, he resolves to seize the moment and plead his case. Most magnificent dragon, though my visage may resemble that of a noble knight, within I identify as one of your kind, a dragon. My pronouns are they, them and it, and I implore you to stand beside me in a shared quest to vanquish all who would dare to deny us the right to exist. <laughs> 